Hi guys and welcome to Angle For You and today you join me on the banks of Birkwood Fisheries and I've just been filming a little bit of features uh, around Ground Bay and I just thought I'd bring this and do this little video just as some stuff's come to my attention lately um, and yeah I just thought I'd put this video out there and just sort of share the love a little bit. So what is it about and I'm sure you've seen in the title, what is Angling For You about? What, what does it stand for? What do I get out of it? What does Matt get out of it? Um, what are our plans for it? And what, what do we mean to achieve? The first thing is the easiest thing. And I'll tackle that straight away. What is it about? It's about getting people on the bank. That is it. It's as simple as that. Getting people on the bank and giving them the information so they can catch more fish or look at products that they, they might want to buy uh, in more detail and learn little bits about fishing. Is it about a professional angler coming on and watching it and getting information? No. The information they might get from it uh, or a very good angler is things about products. Um, they may get little things about what's happening on certain venues but in regards to what I'm going on about, no. Um, I'm an average angler that just in lo loves the sport and loves to get people fishing and catching fish and that is what Angling For You is about for me and for Matt. That's the same as the group and the same as the Instagram. Now the group is based around family orientation so there's no swearing, there's no banter that goes on about uh, on there. People might think that that's, that's not great, you know, they like a little bit of banter. I apologise, that is just not why we do it. It's for people that are maybe new to fishing or people that might not know certain things. Uh, we welcome any type of angler or even people that do know what they're doing to be able to ask questions with the fear, no fear of getting rejected or any sort of silly comments. So that is, that is, uh, and any, any people that, that challenge that, we won't waste time with it. We'll just block, block them off the group. They might get a seven day block uh, first and then they'll, they'll get booted off if it continues. We just, we don't mess about with it. We both work busy jobs. We don't have the time to deal with people that are to and fro -ing. So that is the emphasis around there. Now, responsibilities and, and things like that. So obviously some may know, some may not know. I started a group up um, a long while ago called Angling Info. Now I started that up um, by myself and quite quickly I had a guy called Lee Slater that joined um, the group to help me run the matches um, and he knew nothing about fishing, he was just a really nice guy that wanted to get into it and, and learn about fishing uh, which was the ethos of the same ethos that we now are frangling for you. Um, quickly uh, got some sponsors and uh, that didn't really work out in the end and that's why we came to Angling For You but we're not going to that but that's when I met Matt. Matt came on to the first members day that I run at Tom's Pond in Otley. Uh, met Matt there, um, just instantly connected, he brought his son, his son used to fish quite a lot with us when we first started. Instant connection with him, just an absolute top guy which I'm sure many of you already know, um, just an absolute legend. Now. Up until that point, obviously, I'd created the group, um, the Instagram, behind both, and transferred that over to Angling For You. Now, Matt was one of the admins on Angling Info, and the guy, he got pushed out, not by myself, of course. Um, and once I saw, saw, saw all this, this is where we shut the group down and opened Angling Info, uh, Angling For You, sorry. And as soon as I mentioned it to Matt, he was straight on it and, and wanted to be a part of it. Um, but I have a, a silent partner of a friend on there, you might see him pop up, called Nicky Pritchard, who, who is also on the group as an admin and sits in the background, um, helps with, you know, just um, adding people and things like that and bringing stuff to attention if need be, but really a silent partner and just loves fishing. Um, but m me and Matt obviously do the main forefront of the group and it's materialised differently throughout the years. Um, so obviously in, from a, 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 in regards to video wise, I take on that responsibility. I do obviously the editing for the videos and the filming of videos that are aimed at getting people through to the Facebook group so we can help them further and you can have direct contact with us. But also 
um, to help and to give information and like I say some, for some people and not for, not for others we, we understand that um, and we're not saying with any Jamie Hughes or anything that by any stretch of the imagination we just love fishing and I did I started all the clothing and everything it was actually a contact I got from Lee Slater in the original days and then once we moved to Angling for you I paid for an embroidery charge to get the logo um, into and started off obviously doing the clothing and I did all that of late Matt's taken that responsibility on to because of the prizes for members days and things like that uh, which is a big help and he's obviously started to get things like this fantastic snood which is uh, is brilliant um, and hats and towels and all sorts of things like that um, so it, you know that's that's superb um, and moving from there Obviously Matt is a heavy mediator on the group. He looks after a lot of the um, comments. He posts obviously very regularly questions and gets group chats going and does a lot of mediation around certain posts that shouldn't be on there and directs people to the angling for you buy and sell if they're not the right post for the right place, um, which is a massive part of it. Matt always also, runs probably net, net now 100% of the matches he, he controls the money uh, the leagues the angling for you days um, the boys um, through my contacts obviously with the guys at fishing tackle and bait um, they help supply a lot of the prizes um, of late uh, I also get a lot of prizes uh, from bait companies that I've obviously got friendships with um, or tested for same with midi um, as well so you know it's a lot of joint effort on the prize fund uh, front of it uh, and, and obviously the pegging just a quid extra on a pegging fees fee is what pays for the t-shirt or whoever wins the match or the hoodie so you know we've got a good system as where we we work that between us um, the other thing is obviously I, I, I'm very active on the group also I, I answer a lot of questions personal questions that come to me I answer a lot on the um, Facebook and the YouTube and the Instagram along with putting uh, a lot of posts and things on myself um, and having discussed with certain people recently um, I probably do too, too do do too much with it I, you know I do try to answer a lot of questions although I do it in my spare time I don't break my day to try and do it I, I probably do 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 too much um, but I do like to if I can give information then I, I'll do my best to get back back to people it just might not be straight away um, and as the group and the the evolution of the channel grows it makes it more difficult and um, it just means I have to do them in certain times and in bulk uh, sometimes to, to get through it and uh, you know and I pride myself on the fact that we do come back to come back to people and do uh, ans answer questions I think that's really important just rolling my pole back so it doesn't get wiped out um, and I think that's really important I just think that um, of late um, I may have uh, people may think that that all I do is the videos and I just thought you know I'd, I'd bring it back and say you know that I, I, it's not about me it's not about making money for videos we get AdSense we do um, I put that I, you know I spend a lot of my own time videoing going to locations and doing it not because I want money because I want to give people information um, and, and I know there's been stigma around that I just throw videos out purely to, to gain money and that's not true I've got a decent job I don't need to worry about the money part luckily um, and I do it for fun the money that comes back in gets put back into the group one way or another um, either through me buying bits to test or whether it's bait or whether it's petrol money to get to locations um, or equipment uh, GoPros all that kind of stuff you know then it's put back into the channel um, and I, I was a little hurt that that I heard that that um, that it was about money and that uh, that's all I did it for and that that's just insane I have the same value I've always had and any person that's ever met me on the bank that has come over and, and asked to talk to me to ask to try something I've always accommodated I've give people ground bait I've set up people's rigs I've you know helped young children on the bank I've let them sit on my box and fish the first time Matt came um, I let Will sit on my box and fish with my stuff you know 
it, it is it, it is about giving back and and helping people so i just thought you know i'd mentioned that about what we both do because obviously matt does loads but i also do more than people actually think that i do um and i was a little bit shocked at how little people thought that i did um and that i was out for myself um which is insane absolutely insane um to think that and i'm glad we've 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 put that to bed because the only thing I want from the group is to grow to get more people involved in fishing that is the future of fishing the more people are in it the more the more it, it lives on to the next generation um, and in regards to products and I'm, I'm there to only collect and get given stuff that is also Tosh as well so if you actually think um, everything apart from this pole that's here now which will go at some point everything I've, I've ever been given has been given away the, the reason we got all the Kuzo chairs to give out away at Christmas is because um, he saw one of the videos liked it I did a review he didn't even expect me to do a review or a video review we did we give that chair away to, to Michael Pete's dad um, very worthy winner and then that allowed us to give away three others as well at Christmas because he loved it so much to earn from the ethos of the channel that we'd done that he wanted to give us more to give away um, so really I found that quite shocking um, that that's that's the thought process and you know unfortunately people formulate opinions in and you know that that that's fair enough that you know that's fair enough personally um, I, I, I will talk to anybody about anything like that um, man to man um, I think you know have, have I made some mistakes in the past yeah I have um, you know with the winter league i finished that early i went home in a couple of matches in my head they were to mental health issues in regards to um having a lot of stress on a lot of stuff with my daughter a lot of stuff time of year with my son passing and plus i've got you know my own health of, of two hernias and, and things like that to worry about um so in my head there were there were genuine reasons but what i didn't do is, is is think how they make other people feel within that group um but equally now that i've sat and had time to marinate on it they didn't spend the time to ask me how i felt so i feel that it's, it's half a one and half and another and I, I was i was very sad to know that there's a lot of cattiness around that um, behind my back um, which, which is, it has led me to, to do this video um, and I feel that they need an explanation which I will give individually by my word I will give individually to every single person um, in typical Yorkshire fashion um, and this will air after that uh, that I've done that um, and I will go to the last winter league match not to fish um, because I feel that's that that's wrong but to go and film uh, the other guys and be there for the presentation which I feel is right um, and you know it's fishing I'm not here for, for what I can get out of it I'm here to do it as my hobby while I do my work I'm here to enjoy it I'm here to do what I do and be allowed to get upset about having a bad day's fishing and if I do want to go home and, and I have a bad day then that's fair enough um, but you know on the flip side when it's the members day matches um, I need to make sure that I'm there throughout the all no matter what the situation is um, I don't go in there expecting to win I'm like I said a very average angler like most of the people that are on there some days you have a good day some days you have a bad day and that is fishing um, and you've got to accept that um, and yeah that that's pretty much it guys I've, I've rambled along it's a video that is going to be controversial it's a video that's probably going to get me flack um from from people involved i've mentioned no names um and it's not aimed at that it's not aimed at me drumming up uh, any support from anywhere and i don't want everybody's support and oh this is good and that's good i'm not this is not what it's about it's about to give you bare facts um i was deeply upset around the the situation i'm talking around in the fact that people thought that i was out for, for myself I, I cared nothing about the members and all this i was shocked and upset about that and you know i think i i had to make this video um for my myself 
if it gets it, it goes up and people absolutely destroy me um, and it, it causes a tidal wave and stuff then I'll just take it back down but I needed to make it it's important that people know that we are a, a team me and Matt on there and we do things as a team we, we talk constantly talk we talk every week we 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 go out and we we do great stuff and we both contribute absolutely evenly down the middle um, and without the contacts without the things that we've both looked at and, and met met up with we wouldn't get the giveaways for you guys and we wouldn't get the things and if i was sat there with a shed full of full of stuff um that i kept for myself or sold uh, sold on for, for my own profit then i could understand people's things but the, the fact that everything we've ever been given bar the cortex rod which is sat in the shed ready to do uh, a session in the spring um we've given everything away and apart from this pole obviously which is a long-term test as well as mine it's you can't just get something for a couple of grand for two and a half grand and then fish for it with it for a few weeks and then give it away it's got it's, it's got to do its time but then again that'll get done um you know and that, that's what it's about so thank you for listening to me waffle on um it's a different video to what is normally out there but i think it's equally important that it's out there and people understand that we are how we set off to be for angling for you and we are a two guys that love fishing that love people and want people to catch and want people to be out and that'll never change we won't be sponsored we won't have that kind of stigma put around us again like we did in angling info we will stay remain unbiased or we'll remain um true to what we started um and you know it might rattle a few people when we get sent these things but at the end of the day if they were sat there with a platform of 12,000 people they would equally be a person that would be getting sent things to test and um, would they give them away like we would i don't know but you know that's what we do everything we get is given away so thank you very much for listening to me and